While applicable to and inspired by My Little Pony, this video is about a cultural trend that I've picked up on and at times been worried about as of late. Namely, the growing backlash against characters that are too good, meaning either that they are too morally correct or that they don't seem to face significant flaws or character defects. Yeah, I have to disagree with a lot of this sentiment, Digi. First of all, no, there is nothing wrong with a morally righteous character. Doc from Princess Tutu being a good example of this I just mentioned recently. But there is an extreme danger in having Twilight become too perfect by lacking character flaws that should not casually be brushed aside. The three pillars of a great character are strengths, weaknesses, slash flaws, and quirks. Take away one of these pillars and the character is flat at best, broken at worst. There's a common screenwriting ideology where a great story's external conflict reflects the more important internal one. However, a perfect character that never questions if what they're doing is right or just what they desire has no internal conflict to face, making them and their stories less interesting. First of all, all of those examples are not perfect characters as each has multiple flaws. Gandalf the Grey made multiple morally questionable calls. Heck, Tolkien's lore starts off with one. Vash, though amusing, is childish to an extreme most of the time and avoids facing his past to the point where it blows up in his face and hurts all those around him. Nausicaa went into a blood rage after her father's death. Even then, she's still one of the flattest female protagonists Miyazaki and the Ghibli team ever created, whose story was essentially rewritten because of this for much better results and acclaim with Princess Mononoke. And while I have not watched much of Next Generation, in multiple documentaries on the series, writers speak of their frustration with Gene Roddenberry about being forced to write human characters without greed, hate, jealousy, and divisiveness, since it sucked out conflict in the story. Here we start to hit some of the flaws of perfection. Believability, relatability, and low tension. A character, person, or pony without any flaws is non-existent. It's part of being human or equestrian and what helps make characters unique. A character that is never challenged by their limitations or faces inner turmoil over making the morally right choice is boring, robotic, and unrelatable. Oh, never mind. I'm not hungry. Being unrelatable is especially dangerous for Twilight since she is the audience's surrogate whose narrative purpose is to be as relatable as possible. When a character is perfect, there is no tension also in the story to their scenes. Tension by definition is created by uncertainty. A perfect character will always do what is right, which strips away their tension. This is why I believe AJ is at least popular the main six. She is dependable and reliable to the point of boredom. Apple Buck season was a great episode, but stripped away AJ of her one noted flaw, her stubbornness, four episodes into the season. And look what that nearly perfect status from the get-go has done for her. And for goodness sake, I hope the writers finally give AJ a new character arc and flaws overcome already. Don't let Twilight become the next Applejack. No, God, please, no, 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 no! I'm not saying alicornification ruined Twilight. I've made previous videos and statements supporting it, actually. I'm saying that for Princess Twilight to work in season four and beyond, she needs to not be a perfect princess. This can be accomplished by having old flaws surfacing in new ways say flight being driven by instinct and Twilight's logic and precision getting in the way of it, or the writers could introduce new flaws. Her social and outright physical status did a complete 180 literally overnight, and words cannot simply describe all the potential there. Bottom line is she has completed a character developmental arc, but that simply means she needs to start a new one. You cannot have your lead protagonist that your story pivots around stop developing and becoming your flawless idol halfway through a series. It's franchise suicide. The Question Girls has its problems, but it handled Twilight brilliantly, I find. I was more invested in Twilight's character in Equestria Girls in all of season 3 because it returned to the adorably flawed Twilight adjusting to a new situation in her own way. I greatly hope to find more of this again in season 4. Well, that's just my two bits. Keep calm and an open mind. Also, Lucy is best Twilight. Hold on a second. I didn't realize this was written by Kemu Zalion.
Salon what? Salion was a great wizard and an amazing novelist. I'm such a big fan. I was totally positive that I'd read every single sentence he'd ever written, but this must be an unpublished novel. <laughs> yeah, who cares? It all burns the same to me. <laughs> Don't you dare touch it.